To get started removing a background, click the Layers icon. It's the three stacked squares at the bottom left of your editor window. Then, click Convert to Layer on the Layers palette. Next, click your Image Layer and the Graphics palette will open. With your image selected, click Remove Background on the Graphics palette. And your background is gone. If you want to undo this, you can use the Revert button, which is on the lower right-hand side of the Graphics palette, or the Undo button, which is at the bottom of the editor. And if you want to fine-tune your final image, use the Eraser tool in the Graphics palette. You can get rid of any tiny little imperfections, and if you mess up, use the paintbrush to paint it back on. If you want to add a colored background, in the Edits menu on the left, select Background Color and choose any you'd like. If you want to add a texture, convert your new background to a layer, go to Textures on the left panel, and once you have one selected, you can adjust its size, opacity, and even blend mode to get the best look. You can add all the graphics and text you want now and create all kinds of awesome designs with your background free image. A popular design technique you can try is to duplicate your image. Make sure they are lined up perfectly, then only remove the background from the top layer. This will allow you to edit just the subject of the photo or just the background. Finally, if your background is removed, PicMonkey will save it automatically in your hub with a transparent background. However, if you want to download or use your image somewhere else and keep it transparent, it has to be saved as a PNG. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you out there.